this is a quick yeah. <laughs> six months, well seven months now, review of the Corvette Grand Sport C7, Chroma 65 edition. Um, just a few things, you know, it's, it's been fun for the most part, you know, having this car as a, uh, as a daily driver. Um, well, I don't drive it actually every day, but I do drive it at least every week. So, it's, it's, it's been fun. It's a fun car to drive. Um, and it's been actually pretty good on gas, depending on how you drive it. You know, it can be very good or very bad on gas. When you step on it and put it in, you know, sport mode, you get higher to the revs. Honestly, you're going to drink a lot of gas really fast. Um, you put an eco boat and you're cruising on the highway, you can get really good gas mileage. I think I've got you know 30 plus miles per gallon on the on the freeway. Um, so it just depends on, on how you drive it. So obviously the car's got plenty of drunk trunk space. Um, considering it, it technically is a hatchback, there's a lot of room back there for groceries and anything you want to do. I can fit all my camera gear, and I have a whole lot of camera gear. It all fits back there very well um obviously it's a two-seater so you know you can't you can only legally get one other person in here but you know some people try to get in the back <laughs> and send somebody's left but obviously that's illegal um what else, what else, what else? oh yeah yeah obviously in a car like this is really low to the ground um so you will have issues getting in and out of driveways uh, if you never own a sports car that's low, get ready for that. Um, so you have issues with getting in people's driveways, depending on how angled their driveway is. Um, other thing, these tires, I have the um, Pilot Sport tires, so they're very sticky, which is good for handling, but bad for picking up rocks and fragments. Um, this car obviously comes with the Stage 3 package, so it's got you know the side skirts to kind of block a lot of that fragments from popping up but you're still going to hear all those rocks popping up on your car and it's going to pick up everything in the road pretty much everything any kind of fragments you drive over it's going, it's going to pick up um it gets definitely gets a lot of attention um especially this been a special edition people always looking at oh what kind of corvette what color is that and sometimes when you come out of a restaurant or grocery store there's people surrounding your car um, people give you thumbs up, which is not a bad thing. And you get a lot of people trying to race you and revving the engines, and you know it's something you got to get used to. I got stock exhaust. It's, it's, it's not. It's not that loud. Sounds alright. Yeah. yeah. This is one thing that gets a lot of attention. People ask you to rev it. They want to rev it too loud. It's like I'm showing off or something. Another thing is that a lot of people don't know, um, as far as maintenance wise, it's been very good on maintenance. I haven't had to do anything outside of oil changes and alignment. Um, and a lot of people don't know, it also comes with a factory, two factory oil changes, I believe, and one factory alignment, but you have to be under 6,000 miles or 6,500 miles 
but a lot of people don't tell you that you get a free alignment. But yeah, you get a free factory alignment from the factory under 6,500 miles. Um, you know, I bought a little, I'll call it, um, a little package with it, so I get free oil changes um, as long as I got the car. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, I think I think the best thing about the Corvettes. Um, it's being part of Corvette family and meeting other cool Corvette owners. I've got to meet a lot of really cool people, do a lot of really cool uh, cruising and going to car shows. It's been fun. And some of the people you meet is really the best experience, man. Joining the Corvette Club, I would say definitely join the Corvette Club. Like, you're going to enjoy the car so much more because you're going to be taking out other Corvettes and riding and cruising. It's nothing like cruising with a, another group of Corvettes, man. It's just an awesome, fun feeling. And you got to only experience, I can't describe it, you got to experience it for yourself. Um, another thing I would say is, yes, the only thing really too is like when you drive in this car, like it's so much fun to drive that you'll just end up driving just for fun and you'll spend a lot of time driving. Like I may go home, I may take a long ride home, it's going to extra 30 minutes of driving. So, just take time that if you really um, be conscious of your time if you really got a tight schedule you know you can end up spending a lot of time just having fun hanging out driving this car um, 